Hey, I'm Jay from Team 125 Overland, and today we're going on an adventure. Here we are. Here we are, about ready to hop in. That's Ethan. Wave, Ethan. Say hi, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Ethan. Hi, Jay. <laughs> this is Ethan, the other half of Team 125. This is Skyler, 116th of Team 125. <laughs> All right, what do you do? What do you do on Team One Twenty Five Overland, Skyler? I give snarky remarks. Ah, yes, she does. <laughs> Shitty, snarky remarks and a whole lot of fucking swearing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are, about to embark. Okay, and uh, speaking of embarking, here are the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh poor guys. So today we're going to be going to, um, yeah, southern, no, mid-Michigan, it's west side. Midwest Michigan. All right. So one of the things that we forgot to mention about when we go on the road and, you know, we have a couple of members of this team. We have Ethan, we have me, we have Skyler, um, we consider the truck Susie a member forget about Amy. So Amy is the wacky GPS that came with the Pioneer uh, radio and she's always been there for all our trips to guide us to where we're going and every now and then Amy just freaks the fuck out and takes us really weird odd places and I think it's probably for the best intentions to avoid traffic but literally she just tacked on another 45 minutes what feels like 45 minutes onto our trip to, uh, I think try to avoid traffic uh, but literally like we just did like two roundabouts and yeah we're trying and I gotta tell you this truck is not in like when it's completely geared up and all the equipment is in the back we're talking about at least about a thousand extra pounds in the back of the truck I know it's like 680 pounds of just fluids it's not the most nimble of things it's not it's most like I wouldn't call it very easily controllable either it doesn't want to stop at a dime especially considering the roads are wet. So, yeah, fuck you, Amy, you crazy-ass bitch. So, here we are on the road. Skyler's filming, and she's not paying attention, of course. What do you want me to film, Jay? Film all the cool stuff. Look at that. There's nothing. Yeah. Wow, look. Look at all that. Sand. Yeah. Like sand. Just Love the desert. Where, so, where are we? <laughs> I don't know. Bloody bird. What? Luddingburg? Luddingburg? <laughs> Luddingville? Oh, Luddington. We're in Luddingville. Look at that water. <laughs> Luddington. We're, Luddy, we're, in, we're, in Ludding, we're in Luddington, Michigan. On Lake Michigan. On Lake Michigan, driving next to Lake Michigan. Wonderful view. Okay. We're in Luddingville. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Luddingburg? We're in Luddingburg. <laughs> driving along the coast of Lake Michigan. Thinking about camping here, but we may not find a decent campsite. Scott's still not paying attention. Well, the sand's in the way, so. Oh, look at that water. Ludding Bird has one of one hell of a deal. Do I keep recording? Thanks, okay. Hey there. So we finally made it to wherever we're camping at. We're in a place called Whiskey Creek uh, Campground close to Ludington uh, by Scottsdale or something like that. So we went to Ludington and we ended up in Ludington State Park. And uh, yeah, it's not really a great place to camp. It was just a ton of people and <laughs> And it was really packed. It was a lot of RVs. So we wanted something a little more rustic. Um, unfortunately, we didn't really find exactly what we were looking for. We ended up at this campground. Um, it's kind of packed, but it's overlanding. You know, what can you do? So, yeah. Website looks like. Like I said, once again, we've rented this place. It was like 30 bucks for the three of us. It's all right. It's okay. It's for the charge per person. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit like... I don't know. It's okay. 
It's all right. It's a little bit dirty, kind of, you know, like. Trash blues. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of people. But you know what? Whatever, it's overlanding. Um, everything is an awesome story in the end. So uh, we're just going to show you a little picture of the our campsite. It's getting late. We're about ready to cook some food up. <laughs> Sun's getting low, big guy. So, you know, while I'm here, I haven't had a chance to really kind of give you a good, thorough walk around of the truck since I've ever really used it. So, here we go. So, we'll talk a little bit about this. This is how I set it up. It works pretty good. Got a little bit of a candle, keeping the bugs out. Works really, really, really well. There's our bed. Looking super cozy. Oh, it's so soft. It is amazingly soft. Uh, tablet, we might watch a movie later. We've got our lights going on. Awesome, comfortable. Our beer bag, there you go. Lug of blue if we need it. Dog water bowl. So yeah, here she is. We've done a lot of repairs over the last like couple weeks. Um, we've done some major repairs in the truck. Uh, and even in the last week, we've done a lot. Fix the headlight, fix the Bluetooth. Um, so she's running really good. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. So um, I really haven't had a lot of issues. We're going to hopefully look for some trails tomorrow. We did go through Ludington and we did have a great time. Like it was very scenic. Uh, I took some videos. It was looking really good. What are you doing up there, buddy? <laughs> um, so yeah, really super nice. Yeah, really cool. If you've never seen how I put this together, I always put my um, put my fridge next to my truck just like that. Um, the slider actually, like like I said, designed to come right out with a couple wing nuts. It's also locked in. There are people around here, and you know, most face those things are expensive. So, uh, yeah. So Ethan uh, sleeps in that. Uh, I'm trying to talk him to sleeping into the rooftop tent, which I have once I have the forerunner done. And that's about it. It's wonderful to be out here in wonderful Ludington. Hopefully we'll be taking some more videos, uh, some adventures, and hopefully we'll find some trails. Maybe um, tomorrow when we wake up, hopefully, because we'll be out of here and we've got a couple more hours of adventuring. So, yeah, that's it. Here we are at the end of the night. Probably the best part of the day is by the campfire. There's Skylar singing badly. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Ethan. Drinking greatly. Drake, really? <laughs> we got dogs chilling. We got Moose Burger. Being Moose Burger. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's in the dark. You can barely see him. Very good guard dog. Yes, he is. Dogs probably under the picnic table. Can't really see him. But yeah, we are having cocktails by the campfire. Absolutely spectacular. Can't wait to go to bed. It's going to be a great night's sleep. Look at that. Overlanding at its finest. So during this video, now would be a great time. I'd like to thank everyone for all my subscribers, uh, all the people who watch these videos and comment. I think it's really spectacular. I hope to keep them coming. Um, I hope to keep the adventures coming. And <laughs> we do. And uh, traveling across the great U.S. for bigger and better adventures. So yeah, uh, big plans in the future. <laughs> all right. All right. Good morning, Skyler. Good morning. Wow, those legs are white. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Here we are, about to cook breakfast. <laughs> Moosey. Hi there, buddy. Hey there. Bear, care for a sausage? All right. Nice little setup. And... kind of chilly out today very nice okay all right all right so I just want to show we had a video earlier this week on the uh, filter filtering system the water filtering system and here is how we're using it so my dogs Match to drink like five gallons of water in a day. So I'm just gonna go and filter out some water real quick for him and try out my new water filter. So it's working pretty good. 
Yeah, it's, see, it's leaking a little bit from the coupler, but that's okay. Um, I don't lose that much water. And it just goes right to my filter, then right back up in there. So it's just filling up. It's going pretty good, too. There we go. One thing I want to kind of show off, too, is that whole Wi-Fi system I got working really well. That works out great. So we're watching Predators right now. Just streaming in the back. Killing a little time before we, you know, have to get going. And my dog's getting muddy, of course. So that's it. So once again, this is Skylar in her natural state with a natural cell phone tan. Are you literally saying the exact same thing as last time? <laughs> yeah. New material, Jay. We ran out of space on the phone, so we got to re-record this video. You're still so waiting to kill a vampire mm -hmm. for trying to put you at night. <laughs> So, we're going to talk a little bit about my shower system, which I've never talked about before, uh, really in depth. <laughs> okay, so, I'm about to take a shower, and we're going to start off with where the water's actually at. Right underneath here, right above the dog, is a 22-gallon jazz fuel cell that I use to hold water. Now, I made some straps for that, and it's held up in my frame. Um, that's where all the water gets dumped. Now, what you can't see underneath there is an RV pump with some valving underneath there, and that all runs to the heat exchanger that actually transfers the actual engine heat from the coolant into the water. Up underneath this box, where my daughter's ass is by, if she can't move over, it's impossible for her to move over, you'll see a couple buttons. One, the water pump, and that turns the water pump on. Then we got different 12 volt valving. So those are like, a, I think, a two -way, three way valves, three way valves, that will control which direction the water goes. So one will be like, if I want to heat up the water, I put an inlet tank, outlet tank, and that'll cycle through the engine, through the heat exchanger, and that'll heat the water up to whatever temperature I want it. Um, then of course the outlet, I could put the shower or um, whatever the case may be. There's also a thermostat one. I've been having some problems with that one. I gotta go back and fix that. There's always some stuff to fix. So now the actual shower itself. So what we do is we just set up a little tent next to the truck and we use our buck to hold the clothes, and inside is just, you know, the shower. That's it, just... You know, it works really well. Uh, so, you know, we're big dudes, we get smelly, we get sweaty. It's a lot of work being out here, and it's excellent to go right before we get in a truck that's very tight um, to kind of look a little bit better. And I got really long hair, and my hair looks crazy as fuck when I'm not clean, so... That is the shower. There you go. Oh wait, real quick, a couple good tips. I actually saw the um, the one the one Overlander guy, Jake. He did this. I thought this was a really good idea. I keep all my shampoo and stuff in there so it doesn't leak everywhere because I had a leak in my bag before. There you go. Bye. So here we are. We're at a really creepy house, and we pull up, and there is like what looks to be like a vulture in the road, way down there, like eating something dead. So we're gonna go check out this creepy house. It's so cool. <laughs> Just old and creepy. Yeah. Oh, there's a door. Whoa. Is it, are we backpacking? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I just want to know which way that car is going. All right, let's walk towards the door. This is where the Stakefield murders take place. Old man Stakefield lost his mind. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's just cool looking. Just been doing some urban exploring. Creepy as fuck. You know, if it wasn't so run down and overgrown, <laughs> abandoned, 
Don't know how old this house is. It's definitely old. We're probably breathing in a lot of lead. <laughs> that is terrifying. Just a perfect example of just a house. Just wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Just fucking remarkable. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Old bit. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> See enough, Skyler? <laughs> I think we're all pretty good. So definitely really cool, really kick ass. Just an old abandoned farmhouse, really kind of out in the middle of nowhere in Michigan. Uh, just creepy as shit, but just you can tell it had a lot of character. Look at that old, old roof. And I think during the day it's cool as hell, and definitely uh, something to see. At night, you couldn't fucking pay me enough to walk in that fucking house. There's no fucking way. Skyler, how much would it take for you to go in there at night? <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine turning this place into a fucking haunted house? Good God! <sighs> that is just crazy. Sky, I think somebody looked at me from the window. <laughs> my god the truck won't start <laughs> where are my keys I'm not getting any cell phone signal my god yeah. one of the few stops on our way back home uh, I just stopped to get some pizza some gourmet pizza pizza hut and so now we're heading back probably stop once or twice more alright so here we are, probably the last stop of the trip. Uh, we just gotta pick up some fantastic Michigan sausage at some point. Um, that's about it. So hopefully the next place will be right back at home. All right. So just a quick wrap up video. Um, I am home. We are relaxing and we're about to kick up the rest of those burgers and eat some food. That was a pretty great, great trip. Um, <laughs> you know, with any trip, uh, you know, I just. Some more stories to tell about like wonderful world of overlanding. Um, you know, we did did see some really cool stuff. The abandoned house was awesome. The campsite was actually pretty cool. And uh, you know, the um, the little trail, the two track trail that we went down was was pretty fun too. So um, yeah, just kind of to review. Uh, uh, I really uh, like it was nice actually making more videos, more content, and actually about. Like me actually overlanding in my truck that I built as opposed to just talking about it. I really like that. Uh, to, it's nice actually getting out there just exploring and finding new places to actually go. You know, just seeing the rest of Michigan. I'll be honest with you, like I'm not a fan of Michigan. I, I kind of hate this state. Um, if you live here and you love it, I've been here for 41 years and I can't stand it. I hate it. There's not a whole lot I like about it. Even if it's an overlander, like I hate it. Uh, most of Michigan is very um, populated, and even like our national forests are a little bit like too cluttered. Um, the roads here suck. They're the worst. Like literally, uh, you're lucky if you can find an expressway that isn't closed down. They have most of them closed down year round now. It's it's insane. Like it's just. But it's nice actually getting out exploring your review and. Um, you know, the truck went really good. Uh, as always, no matter what, we joke about it, but there's always some repairs I have to do post-trip. Every single time. And we noticed this time that my rear lights weren't working. So, uh, you know, I think it's probably a relay problem. You know, there's a leak underneath the truck from um, the water. It's probably just a little bit tightening up. You know, no big deal. You know, it's always just a little bit of things here and there. But, you know, that's part of the, the actual fun of the journey is, like, you know, I love working on my stuff too, so... Uh, you know, honestly, like, uh, the first trip that we took this year was kind of, like, a little bit rough. Like, I wasn't, like, uh, I was like, man, I feel like I'm rusty at overlanding, you know? 
But kind of this one kind of brought it back together. It was really super tight. Like everything went really like it was like yeah, it was good. The cooking, the new gear, everything was working out great. I didn't forget anything this time. Uh, unloading was 10 minutes. 10 minutes to like from pulling up into my driveway, packing the truck in the backyard, and sitting on the couch in my like sweat shorts. Like 10 minutes. There's nothing unpacked. That's it. That was fantastic. Like, you know, like that's spectacular. I mean, sure, I gotta wash my truck, but like, done, you know? So, um, yeah. You know, I am looking for more trails to do. You know, the two tracks cool, but like, I actually want to like get myself dirty. So, um, that's about it. I cannot wait for the next trip. Uh, I know we're gonna practice. We were gonna plan on going to Montana uh, this year you know, with school and everything like that. It's probably not gonna happen. But we are going to the UP. We're gonna do about five days in the UP. That's gonna be the Forerunners' main voyage in our little overland vehicle caravan and so I just need to start building her so we're looking at maybe possibly fingers crossed possibly starting her in two weeks maybe there's a good chance that we're gonna be we're gonna be wrenching on her in two weeks we'll see we will see uh, so yeah that's coming around the coming around so hopefully and, you know, if you stayed through all this, please, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Uh, more videos to come. Hopefully they're getting better with filming. I know this is on my cell phone, but I'm, I'm trying. And, uh, yeah, hopefully more adventure to come. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm glad you love overlanding as much as I do. Thanks.